was going to do, but somebody might be waiting to use a jet wash, but maybe if I just ignore them, um, we might get away with it. But um, a few people wanted to start up, and I passed the running in yesterday, uh, or was it the day before? But anyway, let's have a look. So we've got now. Love that bit. 1,649 kilometers. Uh, so I'll do the start up now because of the fact that um, I can rev it a little bit more. Might get a bit annoying for some of the other people here. Ah, oh, there's somebody else now with the Merc Wayne going. All right, let's start up anyway until we're getting far up. when I did that, so he's not very really happy. And um, yeah, walk around the bike. I mean, as I say, most of the people that are watching the video know what the bike's all about. And um, the modes, one thing we'll say about the, the modes, the differences between this and the Street Triple RS, I'm just gonna knock it off one. The difference between this and the Street Triple RS, as far as the, uh, what I've found anyway, I put it in rider mode. I'm, I'm not one for wheelies and stuff like that. I wish I was. I just, can't, oh, I just can't wheelie, just can't wheelie, just bottle it, I can get it up, but um, I don't want to lose my bottle, and you'll probably see that a few times, but the uh, in the normal sort of twisty road mode, rather than the normal road mode, um, second gear, uh, it, it'll lift the front with a little bit of clutch, if you give it too much clutch, the traction control will cut in and it'll stop it, but if you're gentle with it, probably about six or seven thousand, and ease it in uh, you, you can get the front wheel to start lifting off of that anyway obviously if you switch it into the normal rider mode and um, then I've got the traction control switched off on that that one anyway but uh, apart from the other bits and pieces on the bike um, again the only suspension I've knocked I've knocked it back a little bit because I did find it pretty tough Let's move back here because it's clean again I did find it a little bit bumpy on, on the roads because the roads aren't too good here. So I've only done the compression and rebound front and back, just knocked it back two. Um, maybe I might need to go back up one just to make it that little bit a little bit harder. As I say, I'm, I'm pretty heavy. But um, yeah, this is the first time I've actually cleaned it. Fortunately here, you can usually get away with dry cleaning, but it was getting a little bit dusty. So, but still got nothing back from Triumph about the radiator, the two little dings that I've got on the radio, I don't think you're going to be able to see them in this light. So they still give me no answer as to whether they're going to place the radiator, which they should do. Yeah, I'm not really sure what more to add, because I haven't really changed anything. I think I said in the last video, the front, the front pressures, I've got those back a bit, which I did in the street triple, but um, I've ended up putting back it, putting back up to 30, 35 on the front, which was a lot, well, a few more pounds than I normally put in, and the back I've still got around about 40. Um, comfort wise, it, I don't know whether I'm just getting more and more used to it. Oi! What are you doing? Just cleaned it. Over spray rain. So, um, uh, oh, as far as the air intake, you really can get your whole hand down it, which I saw um, Alistair Fagan doing on the, the new um, the new Honda Fireblade 44T uh, 44T launch uh, when they were there. So yeah, it's got a pretty big pretty big air intake. The carbon fibre on it is really really good. Uh, one of my friends has got a couple of Ducatis. He's really picky. Um, 
here to look over it. I, I think it's one bit of weave that is not just quite. Oi, pack it in. I think it's one bit of weave which isn't quite perfect. Oh. Somewhere around here, so you might be able to just pick up on the shadow, but you know, nitpicking really. Uh, so what more can I say? I don't know. What what else did you want me to do with the with the uh, with the walk round? Should I start the bike up again? Nah, we'll leave that for another day. One thing that I was really niggled about, actually, just as an addition, is the front lights. I think they could have made a bit more of an effort. I know Triumph have had a little bit of a dig from a few other people regarding the styling, um, saying they could have done more to make it look like Moto 2, but um, I'm not so fussed about that. I think the front end of the original Daytona is nice anyway. Probably some thinner lights. Uh, with it, the technology you've got now, they could have easily stuck some, I'm sure they could have put some um, LED uh, DRLs on there, but um, but they didn't bother, uh, and I might have nicked picks about that before, so I'm probably would just repeat myself. Anyway, let's see how the Italians doing with their bike. How's it coming along? All right. Fantastic, mate. All right, good. Slowly, jolly. Slowly, All right, carry on. Uh, Righty, so I'll post this tonight and. Um, as I say, if I missed anything out, be sure to let me know. Thanks very much for people that have been watching the videos and um, and the comments, the guys there in uh, in the USA, Spain, the rest of Europe. So I do appreciate it. And um, as I say, anything you anything else when we post about the bike, that'd be great. Also, I'm not really sure because I think I said to you my Triumph R, the RS Street Triple I put in for Triumph to sell. They haven't sold yet. Um, I've been trying to wangle a way to keep that as well, but uh, I've got to be, got to be sensible. Um, but that's the that's my other gripe because of my son. I like to take my son on the back of the bike, and obviously you've only got a single seat unit, which is ironic really because whenever you've got a double seat unit, the first thing people want to do is guess what? Turn it into a single seat unit. So this is the one time I got a single seat unit, and I can do with a double. Yeah, but there you go. So. Uh, Thanks very much for watching, see you again.